I think I'll be running along. Philip, you, you'll feel much better once you get out in the open air. I, I don't think there'll be much traffic, and we ought to make good time. If it's a lovely night, you'll be driving up in good weather. I almost wish I were going with you. It might be rather exciting. Driving at night always is. But driving with you and Philip now might have an additional element of uh, suspense. You were right, Philip. Those books were tied clumsily. He's got it. He's got it. Philip. He knows. He knows. He knows. All right. He knows. Right. Easy. I'll take care no, of it. No, you won't. I'd just as soon kill you as kill him. Sooner. This is what you wanted, isn't it? Somebody else to know. Somebody else to see how brilliant you are, just like at school. I told you he'd find out. But oh, no. No, you had to have him here. And now we're done for it. Now I don't know. You made me do it, and I hate you. I hate both of us. I... Stupid, babbling drunk. I'm sorry, Rupert. It's all right. You really want to kill, you don't miss, not at that range. Of course he didn't want to kill you. He didn't know what he was doing any more than he knew what he was saying. He... I didn't want anyone to know this, but he's been becoming an alcoholic, Rupert. Brandon, I, I, will you step over there, please? Philip's drunk, Rupert. Surely you, you don't take those, those nightmare ideas of his seriously. Brandon. Brandon, I'm tired. And in a way, I'm frightened, too. But I don't want to fence anymore. Oh, what are you going to do? I don't want to. But I'm going to look inside that chest. Are you crazy? I hope so. With all my heart, I hope I'm crazy. Uh, Rupert, this has nothing to do with you. It got to. Don't. Uh, Rupert. Got to look inside that chest. All right. Go ahead and look. I hope you like what you see. Do you think you're going to explain that? Yes, to you I can, because you'll understand. Understand? Rupert, what? Rupert, remember the discussion we had before with Mr. Kentley? Yes. Remember we said the lives of inferior beings are, are unimportant? Remember we said, we've always said, you and I, that moral concepts of good and evil and, and right and wrong don't hold for the intellectually superior. Remember, Rupert? Yes, I remember. That's all we've done. That's all Philip and I have done. He and I have lived what you and I have talked. I knew you'd understand, because you have to, don't you see? You have to. Until this very moment, this world and the people in it have always been dark and incomprehensible to me. And I've tried to clear my way with logic and superior intellect. And you've thrown my own words right back in my face, Brandon. You were right to, if nothing else, a man should stand by his words. But you've given my words a meaning that I never dreamed of. And you've tried to twist them into a cold, logical excuse for your ugly murder. Well, they never were that, Brandon. And you can't make them that. There must have been something deep inside you from the very start that let you do this thing. But there's always been something deep inside me that would never let me do it. And would never let me be a party to it now. What do you mean? I mean that tonight you've made me ashamed of every concept I ever had of superior or inferior beings. And I thank you for that shame. 
Because now I know that we are each of us a separate human being, Brandon, with the right to live and work and think as individuals, but with an obligation to the society we live in. By what right do you dare say that there's a superior few to which you belong? By what right did you dare decide that that boy in there was inferior and therefore could be killed? Did you think you were God, Brandon? Is that what you thought when you choked the life out of him? Is that what you thought when you served food from his grave? Well, I don't know what you thought or what you are, but I know what you've done. You've murdered. You've strangled the life out of a fellow human being who could live and love as you never could. And never will again. What are you doing? It's not what I'm going to do, Brad, and it's what society's going to do. I don't know what that'll be, but I can guess, and I can help. You're going to die, Brandon, both of you. You're going to die. Yeah. 